Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first Zara haul of 2021. So I picked up a few things from Zara. Some of them might have actually been in the sale as well. So I will link everything with sizes, everything you need to know in the info box below. In true Susie style, it was a fairly sizable order and I'm going to have to like really whittle this down to like the best of the best and I will let you know what I'm keeping from this order because I cannot keep all of this. However, I love so many of these pieces. It's gonna be a really hard decision making process but we are going to get there together today i have had coffee and then a meeting with my accountant so my brain is coming at you from a whole different place to normal like i am wired there is a party going on in my brain right now it's crazy so i'm gonna get started with a few pieces that i picked up which i'm really excited to try on in particular because they are going to be those perfect like pairs really well with leggings kind of pieces i've got a couple of jumpers and they are like longer than the usual so on me they're kind of like jumper dresses but not quite dresses if you know what I mean but like that really long line jumper and on most they will just be like a long jumper if you're tall you're gonna love this this one in particular is a really gorgeous like very traditional cable knit in like a cream tone which I love it's not like a yellowy cream tone which I will talk about this later but sorry my apple watch is just always it's just so not cute when I am on camera. And like I said, I think this will be an amazing one to pair with leggings and a pair of like longer boots. Not quite over the knee, but not white knee high boots. I think this would look perfect with. It's kind of a staple uniform for me at the moment because it's so comfy. It's warm when you need to like rush out and get some milk from the shop, you know? And in the situation we are currently in, who doesn't love something that you can pair perfectly with leggings? And I really think this is it. I personally don't love wearing shorter jumpers with leggings. It's not for me. I really love like a longer jumper and leggings and feeling really cozy and I'm excited to try this on. I'm hoping that my vision works out. So we're kicking it off with the cream jumper and it is that time of year where the mirror is having to go in front of the window and that is how we are having to do my cutaways for today's video because it is so dark. I'm really enjoying the cream jumper. It is so lovely. I feel like it's a really good length. I paired it with some leggings, just some plain Varley leggings and then my Zara lace-up leather boots, my Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse and yeah that is pretty much it. All my earrings are from Fendi just in case you're wondering in this video. I will try and link everything in the info box below. But yeah, this is ideally how I would wear this jumper. Let me know what you think, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts. I think it's one of those really lovely forever pieces that you could just have in your wardrobe for years and years and it will serve you really well. It's such a classic style and a really good length, I think, to have in your wardrobe over a long, long period of time. Sometimes I find there are trends in terms of like where things cut around the waist. So a few years back, all the jumpers were like cropped here and now they're kind of the hemline is coming a little bit lower but I think this kind of length works really well on everyone regardless of like your style and your preference it's just really lovely and like I said I love the classic cable knit texture to it it's really really lovely this one is going to get some heavy consideration because I really love it so cute so that cream jumper was in a small and then I have this brown jumper in like a medium this is like a typical like I've stolen my granddad's jumper kind of vibes but I really like it Again, it's a longer jumper. This one might actually be very long on me. This might be more of a like jumper dress. Maybe that was how it was on the website. I can't remember, but it's a very long slouchy jumper in this lovely cool toned brown tone, which I really love. It also feels really nice and soft and I don't think it's gonna be itchy, which is goals because I hate anything itchy. People often ask me like, is that jumper itchy? And I'm like, I do not wear itchy jumpers, like full stop, I will not wear them. So yeah, this one isn't feeling too itchy so far. So very excited for those two to pair with like my leggings and my boots. I think it's just gonna be a really nice vibe. You can pair them with anything though, really. Like anything skinnier on the bottom for something long like that, I think works really nicely. So skinny jeans, leather leggings, that kind of vibe. I'm just really enjoying wearing like plain black leggings at the moment. This one is a little bit too long for me. I think personally, I feel a little bit swamped in this. Some people might love this length for me. I'm not sure. For me personally, it's just a bit baggy and a bit too long, but I actually think my mum might love this. So I might surprise her with this because I don't think she watches the Zara haul. So yeah, I might surprise her with this one. I think she'd really, really love this length. She's a little bit taller than me as well. I'm literally like the smallest person on record in my family at five foot two. So unfortunately this one is a no for me, but let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you think it's too long? 
would love to. I actually picked up something a little bit smarter. I am on the hunt at the moment for the perfect like boyfriend shirt. I have one like perfect boyfriend shirt and it is getting to the point now where it's kind of like seen better days. I'm not sure that this is gonna be it. I'm looking at it and it's still very long. I need like a boyfriend shirt that is just shorter that wouldn't actually fit your boyfriend, you know? We'll try it on. I do think these shirts look really cool when I pair them with like leather look leggings or any kind of leggings to be honest. Anything skinny on the bottom. I always think they look really cool even if they are super oversized but it does just get a bit like baggy and a bit impractical and then like what coat do you wear over the top so i do prefer the boyfriend shirts to be a little bit shorter so i'm not sure this one is going to be it but i will show you guys anyway so it's not looking so bad on camera but this shirt is huge <laughs> it's even too big to let be a dress on me i just thought i'd show you just for reference if you're thinking of buying this shirt on zara this is what i'm here for is to help you guys avoid making purchases that just aren't gonna work out i'm troubleshooting for you in advance yeah this is just way too long on me if you're tall though i would say over average height this is a gorgeous shirt like i actually really love the material and the way it like falls it's like not too stiff but it's not too soft and flowy either yeah i could try it for an extra small it just feels so unnecessary for me to need an extra small in a boyfriend shirt and i also don't think it would alter the length all that much for me it's sadly either so this one is also a no my quest for the perfect white shirt continues this i'm really excited about so this is a gorgeous nude pinky nude body if this were a lipstick this would be like mac hue such a pretty color it's got big kind of oversized bell sleeves it's got this lovely ribbed texture to the neck and then the body but the sleeves don't have that they're like a fine knit yeah and then it's body so it tucks in really nicely into anything that you're wearing on the bottom so this would look lovely with like mom jeans or skinny jeans literally whatever you want to wear on the bottom this would work really beautifully with because it has that kind of body on the bottom so it's going to tuck nicely however it's not a thong cut along your bum so i would personally lean towards wearing this more with mom jeans just so they're baggier you can't see the bpl if that makes sense bodies are just my number one thing that i get like the most wear out of year in year out they are my jam so i'm so excited to wear that one it's just the perfect color i know i'll get so much wear out of it this body is so cute i love this i think it'll be a really lovely one for work my only issue is like the back is just so low you can see the body i've got on underneath it's a very impractical back i think like in terms of not being able to wear a bra with it that is very annoying for me personally it would be a really nice one for work because obviously i sit on camera with you guys i can wear a bra because you're not seeing my back so when i like do sit down videos with you guys this would be a really nice one for me i really just wish they'd given it a more practical back i just think like when brands do that kind of back at this point in time i'm like where are we going where are we going with that back? <laughs> yeah, so love the front of this one and don't love the back. I'm not sure if anyone will notice, maybe I'm just highlighting something that none of you noticed in the first place, but this is a little trick on how to do your jeans up. If you have lost a little bit of weight and you're not ready to give up on your favorite jeans, what I've done here is literally just pulled my belt loop over the button. So, belt loop over button push this down as far as you can get thread it through this side will then snap back down because this is causing so much tension on this side and then you can just make sure your zipper's done up and uh it looks kind of weird but i didn't have to buy new jeans just a little how-to tutorial in case anyone needed it but anyway back to the body i also love the sleeves on it i just think they're really cute let me know what do you think would you wear this do you care that there's no back for me it's not an essential but it is a nicety to have your back covered i mean it is winter you know but anyway i love the color of it and i like the way it looks with my favorite jeans these are the top shop premium mom jeans they've just got the perfect like mix of like tightness and bagginess and i really like that i think i've got a 30 leg and i've just rolled them up like once and then i'm wearing my veja trainers as well if you're working from home and you're sitting on zoom <laughs> it's a great zoom top we are flying through this i'm gonna leave the best till last because there's a few like jacket options which i'm definitely going to need to whittle down because we all know i have way too many jackets and these are in a style that i don't own which is great but i definitely can't keep all of them so we're gonna leave those to the end whittle those down following on from the knit where i showed you at the start we have this lovely long line cardigan this i was hoping would be an amazing dupe for my white company long cardigan to show you guys however the color of this I do not love it's a cream but it's like this really yellow cream which zara have a real habit of doing and it bugs me because this just doesn't actually go with anything if you want to pair it with white the white looks so weird like the white looks almost like blue toned in comparison and if you pair it with other like colors or tones it just really brings out the yellowiness of this 
it bugs me so much so this one i will sadly not be keeping but it is such a lovely silhouette in terms of the cardigan it's long and flowy like i said very very similar to my white company one that i picked up at christmas and i just love because it's the most perfect like neutral tone i was really hoping that zara would come up with like a more affordable version of that but i will show you what that looks like so on this is the cream cardigan and i have to say if you like this the way i would style this up is with an all black outfit because you just can't tell that it has a yellowy tone to it so much if you pair it with black i love the way it falls the length is just beautiful i think it works well if you're short but also if you're tall it's that in the middle length where you can just about get away with it if you're smaller i would say anything down to five foot below that i'm not 100 percent but also if you're taller you're going to love this because it is very long line yeah it's really lovely and minimal i love the way it flows and moves it is lovely but yeah unfortunately the tone of it for me is just not quite right like i said i'm really not a fan of that kind of zara cream that they like to do but yeah is lovely feels lovely that is literally the only reason why i won't be keeping this definitely a lovely one for wearing around the house right now because we ain't going anywhere i also picked up this which i'm actually really obsessed with and if you watched my zara hauls around like september october time you will know that i was really enjoying shirts like this but i just hadn't found the perfect one and i was also really struggling because i had the very short 90s bob cut in which does not go with these it just doesn't work however the colors and the kind of specific checks of the shirts that i tried on weren't quite right for me and neither were the fits like i couldn't find the right fit and the right color pattern but i love the check shirt jacket trend and i think i might have found the one i want to get your guys opinion on this and if you guys are like no then i'll just send it back but i love it it's this lovely kind of like pastel grey blue and i love the fact that it's like a grey blue because i think anything that's like a bit more muted in terms of a color works much better in my wardrobe and i get a lot more wear out of it she says wearing a lilac jumper but again a little bit more muted than your typical lilac but this one has like little streaks of like dark grey and cream and brown in it and those tones really help it to work really beautifully into my wardrobe it is also so soft the cut of it looks about right for me so i'm feeling hopeful and like the bagginess of it looks pretty good i love the fact that it is a little bit lighter than other shirt jackets i've tried on other ones have been very stiff and then on me they go really boxy and it just doesn't suit my frame i am excited and hopeful for this one and we are going to try it on and i also think it's going to work really nicely with my skin tone so winning i really like this shirt what do we think let me know your thoughts i've actually paired it with a thermal top underneath and then just some plain leggings and then these boots are old from Topshop. i don't know if they still do them but yeah i think it's really cute and will work really nicely both as like i think it could work really beautifully in the summer actually with like just a plain top underneath and then like denim shorts but i think it would also work really nicely in the colder months underneath a coat but also like as a jacket during spring with like a scarf on so yeah i think it's quite cute and versatile let me know your thoughts do we hate it or rate it let me know okay next we're going to talk about a coat that i've actually cut the tag out of because i know that i'm keeping it when i say coat i mean jacket i'm obsessed with this this isn't going to work when i throw it on because i'm wearing light look but oh i love this jacket so i really wanted one of these like teddy bear jackets that were like a bit more crops and zara brought this out in this tone and this texture in like an overshirt jacket style which i loved on the model i ordered it and it was so big it literally came down past my knees it was ridiculous they've brought it out in like a more cropped kind of jacket and i am beyond obsessed i wore this with a neutral knit that i have from and other stories last night so very similar to this but a much more neutral color a very cool toned nude and this is a very cool toned brown and they worked beautifully together this with my leggings and my like knee high boots i just love it works really nicely with the scarf as well lots of my scarves are like the same length as the kind of hem of this so they all fall at a really nice point it cuts off a really nice point on my legs as well like my legs hip area so i just think it looks very flattering so i'm really excited to show you this on if you hate it quite frankly there is no going back because i cut the tag out last night i'm obsessed with this jacket i love it i just think it cuts off at the perfect length and like i said the scarf's length is really good with the cut of this jacket as well and yeah it just pairs really nicely with leggings and my knee-high black lace-up boots from zara i really like this look i think i'll wear it long in spring and immediately crack it out once we get back into autumn as well i'm really happy with the color as well i feel like you don't see this color around as much and it's like i said that cooler neutral tone and i think that helps to make it look a little bit more expensive as well it's got huge pockets as well i just absolutely love it and it's not too thin either like it's got a decent lining to it but not too much that i wouldn't be able to wear it come spring it's a perfect jacket 
thickness, if you know what I mean. It also looks really cute with my Louis Vuitton bag. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, finally, we're gonna talk jackets slash capes. But I'm gonna have to go get it, so we might not be in the same place when I cut. See you right back. Okay, so this I am so obsessed with. It looks so weird just on a hanger without being like styled up. I've also got a belt in front of it. I am absolutely obsessed with this cape. It looks so crazy right now, but bear with me. I'm obsessed with this. I love pairing this with like a black roll neck underneath, like a black high neck, a very fitted knit, sometimes just even like a thin kind of black thermal jumper underneath. I love it. Just the black sleeve poking out, nothing more. It's so chic. I'm obsessed. And then I belt the middle with this belt. This one's actually, I can't remember the brand, but it's from Nes Porte. I will link it in the info box. But yeah, I love that one but I will link some dupes and I have just so enjoyed like cinching this in at the waist and just wearing it. You can wear it with leggings, you can wear it with jeans underneath, whatever you want. Anything more fitted underneath because obviously it's so baggy on top and I love like balancing out my silhouette. So if I'm going baggy on top, I usually, usually go skinny on the bottom unless we're doing like a white shirt vibe and then I'll wear whatever on the bottom because I think a white shirt just makes everything look really chic. It also has pockets. It is just an absolute vibe. I love it. So I'm very excited to show you how I style this up. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me style this up already. So you will know. So some of you are gonna absolutely hate this and I'm fully prepared for that. I personally love this and I am very happy that my cape search wasn't fully unsuccessful. My tips for styling this, because it is a slightly tricky one, are one, this needs to be cinched in at the waist. I will show you in a second what it looks like when it's not cinched in at the waist and it looks a little bit crazy. To keep your leg as streamlined as possible. So I'm just wearing a really simple pair of leggings underneath this. You could wear black jeans. Those would be my two go-tos. I wouldn't even do like, I love a leather look legging or a leather trouser. I wouldn't do that with this because I just think it would be overkill with all of the print and detailing that we've got here. On my feet, I have my Topshop lace-up boots in the place of my Zara chunky boots, which have have literally zero detailing on the front, just a simple zip up the back. And that is my ideal shoe to wear with this as like a flat shoe because it is super clean and super minimal, but they're also chunky so they balance out what we've got going up here but they also go very very tight on the ankle and that's why I've used these boots because they go very tight on the ankle and really help to streamline the leg. I could wear a knee high boot with this like one of my pairs of knee high boots but they make that part of my leg look a little bit too chunky they almost meet this hemline of the little tassel and it doesn't look quite right so I would say a shorter boot that is tight on the ankle. This also looks amazing with like heeled boots that are a very like thin heel a pointed toe that are tighter on the leg as well very something very clean and minimal but this looks really good with like a classic slimline heeled boot as well so you can really dress it up or dress it down but you want to make sure you've got like the right pieces in your wardrobe for this that being said I'm very particular and fussy over my wardrobe. So wear it how you want. If you like it, wear it. But yeah, those are my like tips for getting the best out of this. I also love that it has pockets, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you it without the belt. Looks a little bit crazy when it's not cinched in at the waist. So I will try and link to some good dupes of that belt and I will try and link to that belt as well if it's still in stock. It's about 109, 110 pounds, something around there. So for some that might be fine, but I had a lot of people on Instagram asking me for a dupe of it. So I will do my best to find some. But yeah, I think it definitely <laughs> needs cinching in at the waist. I also picked up these and I'm gonna have to choose. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But I'm excited to try these on. So we have a black cape. It's so hard to show you. Everything just looks a little bit weird when it's like a cape, there's no structure. But this is like a high neck button up black cape and I just thought that it would look so chic and once again like it will work really really nicely with like leggings and boots I just want a really easy way to dress up the kind of like at home vibes that we're dealing with at the moment and I've always wanted something like this in my wardrobe and just never really felt like it was the right time with like the way I was doing like my hair at the time or just the way I was dressing in general it felt like a huge step away from that and just like a real jarring piece in my wardrobe but now i just think it works so seamlessly into my wardrobe with everything i wear so it just felt like the right time to introduce something that i've been wanting to own for so long and i'm very very excited about it i think like again with my hair the way i've been wearing it lately it would just look really chic and just very minimal and i'm really into that at the moment i am so sad that this one is going to be a no i feel like I should have the sorting hat on my head. <laughs> I feel like an extra from Harry Potter. I would love to know your thoughts on this, but for me, this is just not the one. I am going to persevere with my search for a black cape because I actually think maybe if it were a different material, this one is very like stretchy and I actually don't think it looks 
that expensive like in person you can't really tell the material and like the feel of it on camera it's almost like a thick jersey which is kind of weird and i actually would love it if there weren't visible buttons if there was some kind of different style i originally had this on with my kind of knee high lace up boots where i was changing from another outfit and Honestly, I look like a Harry Potter extra. It was ridiculous. But I like the leather boots with it because I think it gives it some kind of like juxtaposition from a slightly like glam look. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I'm just not loving this. I think it's the buttons down the front. It looks really weirdly formal and like a wizard cloak and I can't, get, I can't see past it. So yeah, this one is going to be a no from me. Sadly. I also picked it up in this gorgeous like greygy what do we want to call this this one's like a gorgeous like greygy off-white you can really tell because i'm sitting on white bedding and i have a white wall behind me like it's not a white white but it's like a cool toned greygy kind of white and i think it is so beautiful naturally i'm leaning towards the black because i think it's just a little bit easier to kind of style up i wear fitted black tops a lot of the time and it would just blend so seamlessly with that kind of outfit. Whereas this, I'd maybe want to wear like a cream item underneath or like a neutral maybe. I don't know. I don't like having the arms of whatever I'm wearing stand out too much from the capes because you can end up looking a little bit Pirates of the Caribbean. Like that real like wearing kind of like a waistcoat and then like a puffy shirt vibe, you know what I mean? But yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and style it up whilst I was doing an order anyway, just so I can be sure and I'm never like left with that like, oh, but what if that one was a better purchase kind of regret because i hate that feeling so yeah we will try this on and i'll let you know what i think this one i think would be so pretty if i get it right but i do think that the black is going to be so versatile and so chic and so timeless in my wardrobe so i'm kind of already leaning one way but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments now this one i actually prefer in terms of the design of it i really like it and i want this in black this would have been ideal for me i'm just not sure on the color i don't know how much i love like my arms poking out i feel like it doesn't look quite right it looks like they're not my arms i prefer it when i can match the jumper underneath to the cape but sadly i don't actually have a long sleeve top in this color and then obviously i would just need to buy like another top and i'd have to make sure that it actually matched so yeah i'm not keen on the color but i love the cut and fit so good to know whilst i search for like the perfect black cape i'm definitely going to keep this design in mind and hopefully find something similar because this would be ideal i like how simple it is we've just got one button and if this was all black you wouldn't be able to see the button and it would look so minimal hopefully i will find something that is more like gossip girl chic than hogwarts chic if you know what i mean so that is it for today's zara haul please let me know what you think i should keep and return in the comments below i will also put in the info box what i think i might keep and return but your kind of input always helps influence me so let me know your thoughts i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one love you bye